Game started. Pawns win. Okay. Uh, let's see how the pawn's doing this one. Let's try e4. All right, e4, e5. Let's see what we get. Okay, I'm going to play the Italian game. I'm still um, trying to find someone who will play into the Mueller attack. Maybe this will be my uh, my lucky day. Uh, what is this? Yeah, that's that's normal. So he's threatening this pawn. And um, I ignore the threat. In fact, I'm going to sacrifice this pawn if uh, things go in the normal course. Check. Because this knight is pinned, yeah. So there's a sacrifice, and then you just castle. <clears throat> and he has to be very careful. Uh, the best way to take back is with the bishop. And then instead of recapturing white away, the Mueller attack is uh, to play d5. So let's see. Now this guy is highly rated, so he may uh, give me a real lesson on how to play this. Yeah, that's the best move. Okay, bishop to f6 is the book move. So now uh, you can capture the knight right away to get your piece back, but you can also throw in this move rook e1. So you have sacrificed a pawn, but you have um, active pieces, and um, that's your compensation, and you've got to play for that. And now taking the knight uh, pins the other knight. Probably don't want to lose any more material. And then uh, that's about as far as I know this line, so I've got to try and figure it out from here. Um, I could think about trying to get rid of this dark squared bishop and... Um, put some pressure <coughs> on the uh, knight. So if I play my bishop here, can he take the b-pawn? I play here, bishop retreats, and I take the bishop. Maybe that's not so good. Hmm. Knight to here. Yeah, I'm looking for an active move. This, yeah, this, this bishop on... Uh, F6 looks surprisingly useful. No, so knight g5, bishop takes, bishop takes would be good for me, right? Putting more pressure on the knight. So let's, uh, but he doesn't have to take. If he just plays um, h6 there, kicking my knight, I don't have anything better than retreating, do I? That's why I was thinking, uh, oh, let's, let's go ahead and play this. <clears throat> Need to play actively. Okay, so he just traded. He didn't think about taking on b6, so maybe maybe that was no good. But now I have an open file here, and I can put more pressure on. An open line onto his knight. I, well, I had that all along, but his bishop was protecting the knight and doing a pretty good job, so that's why I was trying to get rid of that. I also have the idea of queen to um, f3, putting pressure on f7. He can just castle, though. But queen f3 and... Um, okay, so he kicks my knight first. So question is, can I play knight takes f7? Knight takes f7, king takes, queen f3 or h5 check. And uh, he can interpose with the knight if I check from this angle. If I come here, the king drops back. Yeah, I don't think uh, I have enough force to really justify that. Okay, but if the, um, if the knight drops back, yeah, that's okay. I'm going to put my queen on the uh, e-file anyway. So I'm not worried that uh, the knight on f3 blocks the queen's access to h5 and g4. So now the knight has to go somewhere. It could go to um, g6, or it could go to... Um, oh, he could defend the knight as well, but I can keep adding pressure. Yeah, so just g6, that's probably good. Now let's triple. Tripling prevents him from actually putting a rook on the... Um, prevents him from putting a rook <clears throat> on the e-file. So I own this file. <laughs> now, is this compensation for the pawn? Is this adequate compensation for the pawn? I don't know. don't actually know. So that's, that's a good move with his bishop starting to kick me around. I can't go into um, 
can't go into e7 because the knight guards that square. So for now I'm going to have to retreat. But um, I can kick his bishop around a little bit with the knight move or and the, also a pawn move. Maybe the pawn move to harass his knight because if the knight comes to um, on d5 then I can take it with my knight. So it might be an interesting way to play. So, yeah, so I think I'm going to upload this game for sure, even if I botch it horribly later on, because there's, there's been enough uh, interesting stuff in the opening. I want to look at it in the postmortem. I'm trying to uh, refine my understanding of the Mueller attack, so uh, and uh, you guys can learn along with me. So I hope I don't embarrass myself too badly <clears throat> later on in the game. Well, he's stopping to think. That's a good sign. How does how does black improve here? I've got um, the other uh, thing I have that's an advantage is this uh, advanced d pawn, which maybe slows down some of his expansion, even though he has more material. Okay, so I'm still thinking of the idea h4 to h5, kicking the knight. Knight goes here, and I take it. Knight takes pawn, takes rook, takes. I can just win it, I'll win a pawn back, and and get even material. Um, he has counter moves, so he has moves like um, bishop there. I guess I cannot... Um, that's the problem. So knight here, he can even take it. I mean, pawn to h4, he can take the pawn because he's got his knight and his queen on it. Okay, change of plans. So what else can I do with that knight? <clears throat> or that bishop. And let's um, keep, I want to keep the bishop out of the square g4, so I don't want that uncomfortable pin on my knight. And maybe I play um, g4 myself and kick his bishop. Does his bishop have good squares? Here, 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 it can't go. It's got a retreat. So maybe I can uh, get some kind of space advantage here to go with um, <clears throat> to go with this control of the e file. Although uh, actually, bishop yeah, bishop back to d7 controls the e8 square. So now we can put a rook there, which he couldn't do before. Too bad, too bad. So maybe I should get my queen off of this. Um, file before. So once he puts a rook here, um, it's going to be a bit awkward for me. I'm thinking queen d3, I mean bishop d3, queen c2 is an idea. Maybe uh, putting some pressure on this uh, knight here. Uh, he's got knight f. Knight of four. Yeah, I keep missing. I'm missing some little things. Yeah, yeah, that was a good move. So knight of four hits my queen and my bishop and the pawn. Very annoying. So <laughs> that's too bad. Can I uh, threaten something here uh, with the knight, the rook? I can't, can't, I can't hit his queen. So my queen is in trouble and I've got to move it. Uh, is he threatening more than that? There's no mate here yet. His queen's not on the G file. <laughs> so that's good. So the queen can go pretty much anywhere because the uh, bishop is protected by the rook. However, this pawn is hanging. And the queen can't go anywhere to protect that pawn. Where do I want to go with the queen? Hard to say. <clears throat> I'm just sort of hoping this battery is going to be useful. With the, without, I mean, the main purpose of this battery was to harass his knight, and, and I just overlooked the fact that his knight has this uh, great move, uh, knight f4, so just missed that. Now, um, uh, let's see, so the rook's got to move here. Oh, if 
if I go there, he's got bishop f4. So maybe back here. <sighs> Not good. <laughs> Too bad. Okay, what's he gonna do now? Well, he's got he's got two pawns, so so black is winning, and my my uh, with the extra material and my attack has sort of disappeared. Although if his knight moves, uh, his c pawn is hanging, but uh, he doesn't have to move the knight. It's not even under under threat. My only hope is yeah, he gets too casual. Now this knight is a bit of a target too, so he can maybe sack something here and mess up my pawn. So I have to. Be careful about that as well. Yeah, bishop takes, actually bishop takes um, h3 already can be played here. Mm. Bishop takes h3 and I can't take it back because uh, he can grab my knight. But I can play bishop to um, e4, defending my knight and attacking his knight. So maybe he's calculating these things. Ah. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'm going to go back here. I need to defend my knight. <clears throat> now I'm hitting the c-pawn. Yeah, so he's attacking my knight, and that also defends the c-pawn. Eh, this guy's pretty good. I guess he uh, deserves his rating. So I'm going to provoke an exchange here. I can't really uh, <clears throat> live with that bishop there. I could have maybe considered moving the knight, but uh, also have to conserve my remaining time. Yeah, so I provoke a pawn response. He didn't, uh, did not push his bishop. Hmm. Okay, so he's gonna, <clears throat> he's gonna push the pawn again to dislocate my rook. <laughs> and uh, so I wanted to block his queen's view of um, f3 here, because uh, otherwise these ideas of sacrificing on an h3 and grabbing the knight on f3 might reappear. Um, because he's got the bishop on it now, as well as um, the queen. So, for example, bishop back to um, d3, pawn to d4, uh, the rook moves. Yeah, that, that would be bad. The rook really can only go up and down, and then he can just take on h3 or grab the knight, or both. Not winning the knight, but uh, winning, winning a pawn, at least on the king side, and messing things up. Yeah, so he goes there anyway. And this probably wins, um, what does it win? It wins an exchange. Where can the rook go? Here and here are covered by his, uh, his knight. I guess um, I can go here, it's a possibility. Ah, now he can push on. Ah, yeah, it's always something. He can now push on with uh, d3. And, uh, well, I take with the bishop uh, and save my bishop that way. But then, um, but then this idea of sacrificing on h3 shows up again. So pawn to d3, bishop to d3, knight takes h3. And I can't take back. But I can move my bishop out of the way and defend my knight. Uh, oh, but I don't have time for that because knight takes h3 is check. So, pawn to d3, bishop takes d3, knight takes h3, check, king moves, and uh, and his bishop and queen are both on my knight, which is only defended by a pawn because my bishop is in the way. Hmm, but I can move the bishop with tempo. I can move the bishop to um, h7 with a check. So, okay, so it's not so simple. Hmm, interesting game. 
Oh, and the bishop, the bishop itself is defending, okay, but if he pushes, I have to retreat the bishop. Right now the bishop is defending h3, but uh, if he pushes on with um, d3, bishop takes d3, then, then h3 is vulnerable. Okay, so he's bringing the rook in, <laughs> just making things even messier. Uh, what can I do here? What can I uh, kind of quickly play? How about... Hmm. No, I can't. I can't play g3. I want to play g3 and kick his knight, but he can take on. Oh no, he can't take on h3 because the bishop defends it. So g3, then d3. Hmm. Queen to attack the knight fails to. Um, queen takes bishop. Uh, that, that knight is just a thorn in my side. How about knight takes? Mm, no, it's not working either. Okay, so rook takes, rook takes. Check. Let's just go ahead and play that so my rook isn't hanging in some of these lines, if like the knight moves, for example. And now he's got a check here after my knight moves. Drives me to h2, but maybe it's not too bad. I still want to... Let's go ahead and uh, put my king on h2 now. <clears throat> I want to play uh, the move g3 if I can. Get it in and chase that chase that knight away he's got <clears throat> he's got knight or rook he's got rook to e2 which is going to be good and wins a pawn at least rook to e2 maybe i throw in the check and then move my queen out this way because uh, after rook e2, I'm having trouble saving the bishop, right? The bishop is hanging. Yeah, there it goes. So uh, how can I save that bishop? Or I could uh, counterattack his queen if there was some piece that attacked his queen. Or if there was some way to threaten checkmate. And I like this crazy moves like rook to uh, e3 <laughs> threatening no it doesn't threaten checkmate <laughs> his, his, uh, these two squares are guarded by the bishop and the queen and also his rook is there <laughs> so check king moves queen here I guess is check maybe maybe the only way to play Yeah, it makes it a little easier in a way when you only have uh, one move that doesn't lose immediately. <laughs> Although maybe there are other moves there. You know, you got to look around and find these moves. But uh, yeah, so he just wins another pawn. So I can attack his pieces here. Forking the, uh, it's kind of a funny kind of fork, but the king is attacking the rook and the knight simultaneously. Um, knight here to defend the rook, and I can just take the knight Rook moves. I mean, yeah, I could just take the knight and then the rook is hanging. Check. So he goes there and ah, I get the knight. What do you know? <laughs> Am I going to survive this? Check. Uh, am I going to survive this? Maybe not. Uh, my king is being chased up the board. I can't go there. I can't go there. Ah, and he's got an advanced pawn. Let's see. I can take that. Let's do that. Ah, he took my knight. Okay, I missed that. <laughs> I missed that. So now, uh, what? I have a discovery with my bishop here. I'm attacking his rook and uh, also his bishop. Yeah, that didn't help. Okay, so he's just pawns up, it looks like. <laughs> and I'm not threatening uh, mate or anything. Okay, well, let's threaten a pawn anyway. I can't threaten mate, threaten a pawn. Don't want to put my rook on a light square and have it skewered by his bishop. Check. Um, yeah. He can bring his rook over here and check me. He can also take my pawn, pick up another pawn. 
Um, now I get a check. Check. And uh, let's let's grab grab some pawns while I can. Also, there's a check here with the bishop. Check. I don't know if that's any good. There's this check here check. with the bishop. And now, um, where am I going? Hard to say. Check. So, check, check. He can walk the king forward. Can I win maybe one pawn over here? Check. 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 And the bishop can defend the pawn from this square. Hmm. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's two pawns up is probably winning with correct play. Yeah, I would say almost certainly winning. So, um, but uh, I can struggle on. I can. Uh, there's uh, ideas here of drawing using the idea that a bishop and a rook uh, does not win against a rook. <laughs> so, uh, so if I could sacrifice my bishop somehow for two pawns, then I might get that kind of uh, end game. Hmm, yeah, once again, he has managed to uh, defend that uh, pawn. He's having trouble. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just lost another bishop. I will resign here. White and, um, resigns. So anyway, I will do a postmortem, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that one. See you later. Bye.